Now, moving right along, the ODM party has protested a move by the UDA party to appoint public officers to party positions. ODM says the appointment of KRA boss Anthony Mora uh, to head the, its national uh, elections board and KPLC uh, chairperson Joy Medieval to in, uh, internal dispute resolution committee is a, re is a recipe for chaos. ODM also uh, argues that the move is uh, contrary to the Ethics and Integrity Act. We get more from our very own Stephen Little. A move by UDA to name KRA boss Anthony Mwaura as the chair of the elections board and KPLC board chair Joy Mudivo as its chair of the dispute committee has eyed the Orange Party. In a neck meeting, ODM resolved to push for resignation of the two from their offices or drop the offer by UDA. In particular, the committee expressed deep concerns over developments in the UDA party, where public officers paid by taxpayers from all political formations have been appointed as party officials to various organs. We are staring at the return of the party state system last seen in the 1980s, where party leaders and public servants were one and the same thing. ODM says attempts by UDA to have KRA boss Anthony Mwaura and KPLC board chair Joy Mudivo participate in politics will be unconstitutional. Demand that all those people who have been named as UDA officials must immediately resign from public service. There is no way they will serve two masters, the public and the UDA party. UDA has already sworn in the elections team, notwithstanding the protest. Asubui tumeweza kuapisha the National Elections uh, Board, sasa wako na mandate kamili ya kufanya uchaguzi. UDA Secretary General Cleophas Malala has written to Attorney General Justin Mutori seeking guidance on the matter. In the letter, Malala relies on a judgment by the High Court in a case filed by Katiba Institute. The ruling says, quote, We find and hold that positions of chairpersons and members of boards of state corporations and parastatals are not officers in the public service. The UDA party in its letter argues that classifying chairpersons and board members of state corporations as public officers will bind them to strict recruitment provisions, thereby extinguishing the president's flexibility inherent in their appointment. The UDA Secretary General says embracing the perspective of the code ensures that said corporations remain agile, effective and focused on their mandates without getting entangled in unnecessary bureaucratic complexities. Malala in a letter to the Attorney General and copied to Prime Cabinet Secretary Musalem Udavadi and Head of Public Service Felix Koske argues, quote, considering the legal complexities and by the way of this letter, the state law office is requested to vary its expert opinion on the accurate position in the legal and governance framework regarding the issues raised. However, the ODM team maintains that state corporations that form the pillar of governance cannot be entangled in political parties' contests as it may affect the public confidence. Stephen Letos, Citizen TV.